Hey everybody and welcome to Ramen's House. Today we're working on the Life's a Hoot scrapbooking pages and the optional technique is adding a line using the teal le pen or in my case I'm using my teal metallic gel pen. I just wanted to kind of show you some tips on how to do that. So when I want to have a straight line I build myself a strip. This one is only one inch wide, so that does leave some room for error. So you might wanna have at least a two inch just so you can control it a little better. But what I'll do is I'll just take my, my guide and then I give myself about a half, a quarter of an inch there. And then I also wanna leave room for the line going on the opposite corner. So I'll start in one side and I'll go nice and even, nice, a nice steady pace, not too fast and not too slow because the gel pens especially need you to uh, not go too fast or it can't keep up. So you can even see that this end, well, you probably can't see there. This end is a smidge lit thicker than this end. So I went a little too fast there in the middle and I slowed it down again at the end. Uh, if you're using the metallic pens, you gotta wait a little bit because at this, there's a little extra ink at the end and you don't wanna set your paper down and smear it uh, immediately. So, um, and then you add your second line, give it a little bit there still showing, and then you just go and do the exact same thing. You start, go not too fast, and then stop at the end. And I don't know, this one, you can definitely see that there's a bulb. And that you know what, in all of your corners on this, there's going to be a bulb because you're starting and stopping twice. Now, you don't, if you don't uh, want to have perfect line, that's fine. Some pages lend themselves to you just freehand it. So it's easiest if you give yourself plenty of room Put your pen down and then just pull it along. This will give you the straightest line you can get and um, keep your pressure the same. Because in my experience, if you, I don't know, if you start this way and go this way, your hand's gonna get tired. You're gonna get it, well, mine are pretty straight, but I, I might be pretty okay at straight lines. Um, but if you can just pull yourself and never move, then that is pretty successful. Um, there's another technique of, uh, especially when you're doing uh, freehand lines, if it gets a little messy, like really messy, and you were sad about it, add a second line. Make the second line go even worse. And then it will look like you wanted this double line to be there. And how sweet is that? So this one is actually pretty straight, but if you add in, you know, a few things, now it looks like you intentionally had this wonky line and now it's again solidified. So that that is um, a great way to do it. Um, if you're really nuts about it and you wanted a completely straight line for this, you might build a, um, because this is a 12 by 12, and you're pretty safe to pretend wanting a quarter of an inch on each side, you could build yourself an 11 and a half by 11 and a half sheet of paper, center it where you want it to be, and then you just trace it. If you're really unsure about doing your lines like that, then that's a really easy way. It wastes a little bit of paper, but your lines are gonna be nice and straight. So I hope that was helpful, adding some cute lines. Oh, I guess we did also did the, the butterfly things. So. That one I just um, free handed, just creating some little loop de loos. I don't know if this is, I need to get my fingers out of the way so you can see this. There is no right or wrong way to do the little loop de loos, just making sure that they are. Um, that they're that each loop de loo is kind of spaced similarly. You know, I'm a little tighter up here than I am down here, so try to keep yourself similar. But also, 
in a loop-de-loop, -loop, the close ones to the butterfly are going to be, you know, like a jet going, you know, these ones are going to be more sparse and then it gets closer. So, you know, there's, there's different ways to, to think about that, but just, this is also great if you're wanting a stitched, stitched border, it's the same idea, just keeping your stitches as you go along, you can use the guide if you are afraid your stitches are going to be, uh, if you're already afraid your stitches are going to be uneven, and then you're also afraid that they're not going to be straight, build yourself a template and just go along the template. There you go. See, well, they're kind of far apart, but uh, those are some easy ways to have your stitches and your lines. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that was helpful. Happy crafting.